serving of the Wikipedias, spoiler, fl spoiler free, I, I assure you, I have discovered three things. Two of them are rather harshly disappointing. The first one, which is the most disappointing, is the fact that I could have saved Curly. She can live, and I didn't do it. But there's no way I could have known. Okay, so that's fine. In, in fact, I'll probably do a full playthrough of the other version. This is pro I'm probably like heading towards the worst ending of this game so far. Anyways, um, another thing I could have realized. I probably I, I could have completely resisted trading my Polar Star up until that very point of the Hermit Guns Gunsmith, and I would have gotten what is considered to be the best weapon in the game. And I fucked up there, too. I traded it for the machine gun immediately. She was like, hey, you want, you want my gun? And I was all like, fuck you! Yeah! And, you know... And I fucked up. So apparently, I will be I will be replaying this game from the labyrinth point three different times at least. Well, at least twice. All right. So I decided that not, that last video was not going to be the last video that I recorded. Um, actually, what, what was the third thing that was really disappointing to me? I don't remember what it was. It'll probably come to me later. So there's no way that I could possibly be pre better prepared to take on those two dragons right now. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Armed with Curly's armaments. Oh, also, I have something weird to do before that. Uh, before I actually go and fight those dragons. I, the third thing that I found isn't actually disappointing, it's hilarious. And what I have to do is go to, Z is go to Sand Zone. Alright, and then I have to go into Curly's house and steal her panties. And that unlocks a game mode of this game. That I can that I can use to play as Curly later, and I feel like I'm going to do it at least like a few episodes because it's it's not like it's not like vastly different. It just shows like like Curly in um in in like this in like the main character's place instead. And honestly, like she actually verbally like reacts to people and stuff too, which is awesome. And like not a lot is different, especially like you know, except that like she verbally reacts to people, and you are referred to as she or her. It's actually kind of hilarious. So, I have to go in here. And go over to the shelf, I think. It's somewhere in here. This whole sequence took too long and I didn't feel like cutting it out. Do 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 do. Yeah. Do do. Got it! Uh huh. Uh. Come on. I have no idea how I'm going to get out of here. I love how I'm, how I'm down here looking for my best friend's panties. Yep, found him. Alright, let's get out of here, folks. Enough panty raiding, let's get back to the story. It's all about the story here. Here at Ozone Expedition, we're all about panty raids and stories. Isn't that right? I'm sure you can relate, panty raids. We've all been on one of those. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, well, I for some reason to have, well, I for some reason have inherently become an owner of many pairs of women's underwear, simply because um, my sister left like a shit ton of her clothes behind here. Um. Yeah, no, never been on one of those. I doubt anyone else ha has if they've lived in the past 20 years. So, yeah, off to Egg Corridor again. We're, we're up for some good excitement, right? Probably not. Did I save while I was there? I don't really care. Hmm. So I could easily have the best gun in the game right now. You know what? I'll play through the game again up to the point where I'm in the labyrinth and I'm about to go, like, where... Dr. Booster is. And I'll play the game, like, all the way through, like, the best ending instead. 
if anybody would like that anyways. Um, if anything, it'll sort of drastically... It'll drastically, like, increase my enjoyment of this game as well as, um, the time I'll actually be able to play it. That's still really fucking sad, dude. Like, that all the dragons are, like, crying blood and mentally retarded and, like, breathing fire everywhere. It's extremely saddening. Sure, you can agree. I mean, look at it. Does it look healthy to you? It looks like it's completely blind, if anything. Thank you, King. You did your job well, man. You know, you you did you you protected Taroko better better than I did for Curly. God damn, dude, I still feel terrible about that. At least it wasn't like something really obvious like I had to book it like first. Like the game was expecting me to try to run and I could have made it out of there with Curly alive instead of just like fucking around cuz then I would have been really angry at myself. I don't- I don't think you understand just how much I liked Curly's name. It was- it's amazing. Like, it's too good to lose. It's not the kind of thing you just, like, say, oh, well, it's gone now. No, it's fucking- Her name was Curly Brace! The woman's name was fucking Curly Brace, man. You just don't understand. Nope, thought that was going to be a save point there, and I was going to be really angry, but nope. This game clearly wants to start being cruel to me, and I will sure as hell let it, because I guess I kind of deserve that for some reason. For some reason? Oh, that's a dick move. Bam, got it anyway. Fuck you. So I currently don't have any weapons that will go through walls, however. Oh, hey, come on, man. Okay, fart, fart explosion, start. You know, there's just, like, such small game, such, 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 like, small things in this game that you just never really notice that you totally fuck up. Like, right now, I'm heading toward the worst ending just by going by my instinct. How am I supposed to be expected to know to do things differently? God, that's so satisfying that nothing can fucking touch me like this. Yeah, it's wonderful. You know what? I like bubbles. Even if it is the most, like, comical word in the English language, pretty much. Ah, oh, dude, they're even homing! You see that shit? That is fucking great. Too bad I'm about to have my ass handed to me thoroughly. Thoroughly rhymes kinda like with curly. I'm sad! A cold breeze blows through, as though two undead dragons were gonna come out of nowhere. <laughs> Fuck both of you. And now I'm fucked. Oh. God damn, dude. <sighs> I got the panties. I'm fine with knowing that, you know? I'm fine with knowing that I have recovered my best my my fucking dead best friend's panties from her home pretty much violated every inch of her privacy, but I don't really care that much. Shut up, sad music. You're making me sadder. With this desperate peppy music, sort of. It is sort of like a desperate assaulty kind of, kind of tune. Hey, you guys, uh, you guys want to try, like, you know, stomping on me or something? Like, fuck! Oh, man, that's really interesting what you're trying to do there. Too bad that, um, when it, when, as far as I'm concerned, you're totally fucking, like, chump change?
I can't help but feel sorry every time I see one of these things, dude. It's just so sad. Like, it really hurts me. Deep down inside. I don't know which weapon got that. I'm kind of angry that it wasn't the uh, rocket launcher. Fuck you guys, I'm out of here. With my fucking shitty little rocket booster instead of curly brace and an awesome one. Rip, Curly Brace, you will be missed. Seriously, though, you will be missed. I don't think you can quite fathom just how missed you will be. Curly Brace! I'm gonna be fucked up about this for the rest of this playthrough. Fuck! have some fun editing this. I know I said I probably won't, but I will. <sighs> I need to like go to sleep. <laughs> I can just use a nap right now. I'm feeling rather lethargic. You do way too much damage. Kill yourself. You do too much damage. Kill yourself. You know what? I'm just gonna blame everything in the game for my failure. Just things do too much damage. I don't suck. Just things do way too much damage, dude. It's it's unfathomable just how much damage they do. It's not fair. The game creators did it wrong, clearly. Cause that that's what that is. Just them doing it wrong. Hmm. You know, if this game had save states, I'd probably be in a much better mood right now. But it's not an emulator, so. I think I actually see that this boss is incredibly easy and just has a really repetitive pattern instead of... Yeah. Just shoot them when they open their mouths. Yep, that's pretty much it. Curly's panties. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a life pot. Uh, eat a life pot. Bubble gun, bubble gun. Oh god, thank you. Defeated the sisters. What were they, twins? Oh, thank you. <sighs> Man. Well, I'm near death and saved at a save point where I'm likely to die as soon as I leave the place from. But hey. That could very well have killed me. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the ducks really into the ducks really fast. So I'm at one health now. This isn't good. 
certainly is not. You're not getting anywhere near me, bro. You're not getting anywhere near me, pal. Ah. Faulted back down to lame gun. I wonder what it would have been like if I got the super gun and Curly was still here. I probably wouldn't be sucking ass so much right now. And Curly would be alive. I emphasize that a little bit too much, don't I? Really? Like a bed at least would have been nice. Like, could you throw one in, please? Like, somewhere? Be great. I'm slightly sad. I could just be super careful, I guess. Just stand up on ledges and let the bubbles slowly whittle their health down. You know, there are a lot of things in this game that I could have done really different, like if I knew that they existed. A little bit of health helps every time, I suppose. Go fuck yourself. I completely forget about this weapon all the time and all the strategic advantages it gives me. Alright, just gotta slowly get my health back. Just gotta be careful. That's all I gotta do. Alright, I'm almost to the end anyway. Maybe there'll be good things at the end of this. Maybe I won't be confronted with a boss. Maybe things will just go my way for once. Know what I mean? Maybe I'll just get all my life and missiles refilled and, you know, given a full opportunity to save before, you know, I come back out and go into this door and end up dying again. And they probably left without me. Text appears on screen. Incubation successful. Who's over there? Oh, it's you. I didn't know if you were safe or not. I'm the only person here. After you took off to Sand Zone, we sped up, we sped up prep preparations for securing an escape. It was then that Misery showed up. Sue was taken away. And Professor Booster, he disappeared somewhere. The doctor has apparently acquired the flower seeds. But I'm not blaming you. The doctor's victory was certain from the moment he acquired the Demon Crown. It's only a matter of time before his Mimigo army is ready to attack the surface. And if that does happen, it'll be futile to try to defeat the doctor. Even for you. You have no choice but to run from this place. Anyway, an escape is possible, but only by using a flying dragon. That's why I came here all on my own. For the flying dragon that I need hatched safely. Want to escape with me? You know what, man? I've fucked up enough. No. I see. Truth be told, there's only one way you can change the Mimiga back to their original state. Destroy the island's core. But the island may collapse if you do destroy the core. Is it too dangerous a choice for you to make? Either way, I don't know where to find the core. If you really want to try and do it, then I'll wait for you. But I may need to flee the island at any time if it gets too dangerous for me. You're beautiful! If you're looking for the core, then you really need to hurry it up. So, you're like the last guy alive. 
due to my actions and everything that I've done, you're the only person left. And this is the only healthy dragon. Shit, man, this is some heavy... This is some heavy shit right here, dude. So... Am I actually somewhere near an ending right now? Oh, hooray, more sperm. It seems like gravity is sideways for these guys. Or maybe this used to be like a city or something, I don't know. Hmm. All I know is that the soundtrack is really relaxing compared to like the last level. And, you know, the monsters aren't very high-strung. I can easily depict I can easily, you know, predict their movements. It appears that everything has sideways gravity, except for me. And these guys, because they're assholes. Fucking quote, remember the name. Bitch. That's actually the original name of this character. His name is Quote. Oh, my... Here's that my machine gun's been leveled down. Oh. Helps arriving anyways. I'm all relaxed now, holy shit. This game really knows how to play and it really knows how to play with your feelings. So where am I going right now? Am I just technically like screening right? Thanks for the missiles, man. You did good. Actually, if this was flat ground, I'd yeah, I would be screening left. Which means the down would be right. I don't understand any of this at all. I could I could really use one of Granny's cookies right now. Look like at the door. Holy shit! You're a mimigun in your life. Ah! Yo, dude, chill out. Yeah! Don't kill me. I'm I'm a human. I was turned into a mimiga by magic. Eh? I mean, you're not a killer robot. You startled me pretty badly by coming in so suddenly. Are you here to save us? Us? There's more of you? I'm just glad to see there's some of your fucking kind left, dude. Plan oh, dude. Dude, the main title screen theme. Dude, I love the main title screen of this game. Passage? It's such, like, heroic music. Looking away. Statue chamber? Who the hell are you, dude? Hey, what's your name? You're not very talkative. Oh, you... Oh, you carve, um... So you're working for... Ah, uh, bye now! <sighs> Dude, I'm all fucking pumped up again. This game, holy shit. Uh, storehouse guy. I'm Ito. I'm one of the humans who came to study the island. Misery gave me this lovely new this lovely new Mimiga appearance. I could probably run away, but take a look at me and, and how I am now. I'm stuck. Mists have climbed all the way up the wall from outside. I'm quite a capable engineer, but I also have an innate fear of heights. Ugh. Shouldn't have come to such a place like this floating island. Seriously, dude? You, you came to a floating island and you have a fear of heights. God, you're 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 not in you're really not in your element right now, man. Hey, bats! You want to know um what bubbles feel like? They feel like death. Just thought you should know. God, that fucking theme! So good. Give me my powers back, yo. Something tells me you're not gonna back down without a fight.
Excuse that, that was just another individual at the door of my room, my dwelling, my place. So what's this guy's deal? He's... Wait a second, I think I recognize you. Can I just like... I guess as long as I don't bother anybody. But I'm going to bother the hell out of you because you're keeping these guys prisoner and stuff. Prisoners ain't cool. If you want them to work, you pay them. These guys aren't talking, but I think I know who they are. Oh god, are these actually cur Oh, these are Curly's kids, aren't they? a lot like them. No, wait, there's too many of them for them to be curlies. Maybe all of hers got turned rabbit. Oh, shit. They're growing flowers here. Usually that's such a nice occupation, but now it's not. Anyways, on this, on this seemingly action-y yet kind of sad note, I'm going to go ahead and leave off the episode here. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, perhaps a comment, like this bad. He's not considering it, because he's a dick. I'm just kidding, you're not a dick.